Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video, we will see how to use a Mitsubishi PLC IUR series as DCP socket client. So let's get started. Here I have used R04 CPU to show you how this is done. Click OK. We are using four instructions that are socket open, socket close, socket send and socket receive. Before that, we need to set parameters for the uh, Ethernet external uh, DS configuration. Let's go to the detail setting here. In the detail setting, if you are using TCP uh, socket communication, then you use FTP connection. If we have to, you are using UDP connection, then you can drag it off from here. The connection number here is connection number one. Now let's set the parameters. 192.168.3.3 This is my other uh, like third party device IP address and port number. Now we have this connection method. Let's say it's a socket communication. So close with the connection message and apply. Once it is done, close the window. Now let's move to the programming part. Here first we will use the socket open command. So I am using 1000 as my trigger for that. Socket open. Now run some buffers like SD 1504.0. As the 1505.0 this is my open request connection status. Now let's use instruction sp dot s o s o s o c open. Now first we have this u0, which is our location of socket which we are using. Then we have this connection. Let's say K1 because in the setting we have connection number 1. Now, other is control data. So, in control data, like let's say D0, we are using the uh, values here. And last, we have this M10 as my completion status. This is control data. And this is our execution status. Once this is done, let's move to the second part. So, before this, we can do one more thing. And uh, MOV is equal to D0. Now, once the socket is open, we need to use the socket send and socket receive. First, we will use socket send. So, M1001 is my socket send. Okay. Now, the instruction is before the instruction request is 4.0. This is my open completion status connection number one. Now, SP dot and SOC. Say send uh, same instruction again, same like D0. Then we have uh, our uh, connection number, then we have this uh, control data, say D0 again, then we have the data then D300 and M20. So So what uh, we have to do here is in the uh, data set D300 we will we will uh, uh, enter 
the number of bytes we want to send. Like suppose if I'm only I to send a uh, uh, 16 bit data, then I will use D300. In the D300, I will put two, and in the 301, I will put the value which I want to send. Okay. So now once this is done, let's use the socket uh, um, 1002 as my socket receive. Now again, I have this SD1504.0 and uh, I don't have to use this. Let's see. And uh, SD1506.0. This is my complete completion of the receive status. So once I receive the data, it will be on here. So let's use sp.soc receive. So here it's used. Then we have the connection number like K1. Then again we have D0 as our control data. Then D500 we can receive data here. And we have this function. So, what data will we receive here? If we have received some, uh, like say, 13 bytes, so in here 500 we will be getting 30, and all the data, remaining data will come uh, down below the 5, like 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, now to close the socket, we can use a thousand. Socket close. As D one five zero four zero and S P dot close S P dot S P C again we have a1, then we have this uh, D0 and M40. So, this is all you need to write in the program section if you want to use the socket communication. If you are using UDP, then you do not need socket open and socket close structure. It will be used. It will use only this two instruction if it is UDP socket communication. So that's all in this video. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.